Hello and welcome to another episode in Gary's Food Review. I went down to Lawson's Sto here in Japan. I got some skinny. Is that a crackers with a sugary glaze on top? Looks like. Got these little cookies that looks like little uh, rice ball things. Got this chocolate cover cone snack. The cone snack covered with chocolate. That should be interesting. These strawberry chocolates. And the cheese and sausage thing. Looks like a piece of bread. See the hot dog right there, the sausage. It's like cheese, cheese wrapped in sausage. Cheese looks like a bread kind of. Mm -hmm. And of course, pancakes. With some type of white fun in it. And all this costs about 700 yen, which is about a little over close to like 650 or so. So, hmm. I'm curious to try. Cone, chocolate cover cone snack. Mm, smells like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Let's give this a try. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't taste calm. Inside tastes almost like a that crunchiness of a Kit Kat. Let's see what's inside this thing. Kind of similar to that crunchy Kit Kat. I don't taste any calm. Since that crunchy part is dried up crunchy comb, but this tastes exactly like a Kit Kat. Pretty enjoyable. So I do enjoy a Kit Kat. This pretty much tastes spot on. So with that said, overall on the food taste scale, overall, I have to get this chocolate cover cone Goodness, snack A, that put on an 8 out of 10. Pretty enjoyable. So it tastes just like a Kit Kat, pretty much. So you have an idea of what this is. Hmm. Let's move on to the strawberry one. Whoa. Okay, this one has a chocolate smell right away. This one, you smell a strong hint of strawberry. Oh man. Look at that. So let's just give this cranky, I think, cranky a try. 
Mm -hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. The strawberry overpowers the chocolate. So all I taste is the strawberry. And the strawberry flavor is exactly the same strawberry as in Frankenberry cereal. Oh, a strawberry cereal. Tastes like strawberry cereal. Very close to Frankenberry. So this is pretty much a Frankenberry candy. Mm -hmm. Strawberry right there. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I do think I like this a bit more than the Kit Kat imitation one. Tastes just like the Frankenberry cereal. Pretty cool. So with that said, overall on the food taste scale, overall, I'm gonna have to give the cranky strawberry goodness <laughs> treat from Japan a da -da -da, a nine out of ten. Really enjoy these. Mm. Let's see, what should I try now? Yeah, let's get this one out of the way. <laughs> the cheese sausage treat thing. Oh, I'll open There we go. Man, it smells like that typical like smoked sausage you get in like a cheese cracker box. That type of sausage. Mm. It feels kind of like bread. I believe this is cheese, so let's give it a try. Oh man. Okay, it has cheese inside of it. So this is bread. But the bread doesn't taste that flavorful. And the sausage tastes like typical like you get in a box. I think that might be better than this. This sausage tastes really stale and old. It does have a nice shop cheddar cheese thing in it though. I like the cheese. I'm gonna get a piece of that cheese. Mm. The cheese is pretty good. But no, the bread doesn't really have much flavor on it. Let me try the bread. Now the bread has no taste to it really. The sausage tastes old and stale. So I don't really care for this at all. The cheese is kind of good, but the staleness of the bread and sausage overpowers that cheese though. So as a whole, it's not that great at all. So with that said, overall on the food taste scale, overall, I'll have to give this like cheese and sausage wool thing from Japan. A, da da da. A 5 out of 10. Not really that great, but it's not the worst thing I ever had. But it's definitely not enjoyable that much at all. The cheese is only a good factor. But yeah. Let's try this Frankenberry candy again. Get rid of that bland taste. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Let's try these rice ball cookie things. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, open. Okay, here we go. Let's 
secret to this. It opens from the side. Hmm. Okay, it feels like crackers. So it's not a cookie, it's like a cracker that looks like a rice ball. Or like the little seaweed thing that you wrap around sushi. Man, it smells like soy sauce. Let's give this a try. Hmm. Interesting. This is pretty much a crackle that's been soaked in soy sauce. That's pretty much exactly what it tastes like. A soy sauce crackle. Very interesting. And the cracker itself isn't like a typical cracker. The cracker part tastes kind of like that. What is it? The rice, rice cracker, thiophoam type thing. Tastes very similar to that type of taste on the inside. But the outside is like a nice crunchy cracker-ish taste. But the inside is kind of like that rice cake, almost thiophoam taste in the middle but the outside has a, a nice cracker ish taste though the inside is like thiofoam ish taste but it has a nice soy sauce flavor to it but as a whole it's just okay it's definitely better than that sausage crap thing <laughs> so with that said overall on the fruit taste scale overall i would have to give this little guy from Boston stowe in japan a that did on a six out of ten but just okay Definitely a step up from that, but not as good as the two goodies. Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. Okay, yeah, let's move on to the sugar type of things. <laughs> like air right now. Look, look at this. I don't really have a smell to these. It comes in two in a package. Comes with a whole bunch. And, and this is like the thing I was talking about earlier. The thiofoam thing. It has like a nice sugary glaze over it. Let's give this a try. Oh man. It's like a nice salted taste to it. Not really sweet at all. It's like a very salty rice cake thing. It tastes very similar to that. It's like a thiofoam kind of taste, but really salty. This one is dipped in soy sauce. This one tastes like it's just been soaking in salt. I don't know if that's salt or not. It doesn't taste sweet at all. It doesn't taste like sugar. Very salty cracker. Uh, I do taste a very, very small hint of like, kind of like a sugary, frosty type taste, but it's very, very subtle. The salt definitely stands out, but then it's in my mouth. I do taste a hint of sweetness, 
very blend in in the back of that salt taste but it isn't overwhelming it's mostly a very salty cracker so i would say i enjoy this probably the same as this so with that said overall on the food taste scale overall i would have to give this one a, da -da -da, a six out of ten also it's just okay it's not any worse or better than this it's on the same level it's just this is soy sauce taste and this is very salty taste but the cracker part tastes very similar so yeah let's move on to the pancakes <laughs> Ooh, this one's a pain to cut open there we go just popped open It comes with two pancakes with something sugary inside. It looks like it might be syrup. Syrup? Oh, that's butter. Syrup and butter on it. So, this should be just like pancakes with syrup and butter. Already made for you. Let's give it a try. Yep, buttery soap pancakes. Mm. So if you can't have like a sit down and eat breakfast, grab some pancakes on the go. So this would be good as you're snacking while you're going to the train station or you're driving to work or whatever. This is how you get your quick breakfast, just grab it. Mm. Good butter. Have your butter and soap already ready to go. Mm. Really good stuff too. Mm. The packings, the pancakes aren't bad either. They're pretty enjoyable. You could probably even pop this in the microwave for like 30 seconds or less and warm them up just a bit. And then you have nice warm pancakes. But they're really good as is too. We have room temperature. So. Really enjoyable. Mm. Yeah, they're not bad for being pre-made pancakes. They're not going to be as good as freshly made pancakes with soap and butter on top. But for a stow on the go item, pre-made, it's pretty close. So with that said, overall, on the food taste scale, overall, I have to give these pancakes with butter and soup pre-made on the go snack breakfast whatever a da -da -da, a eight out of ten pretty darn good mm. definitely enjoyable but i say the winner out of all these definitely the frankenberry flavor type strawberry candy <laughs> This is definitely the best one. But yeah, this, pancakes, and these are pretty much all three. My top three out of all the items. The rest are pretty much dud somewhat. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is kind of like a long review because I did like six items. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed every minute of this like 20 minute video. But yeah, and this is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.